The battery protector. Many of you would know that if you take a typical lead acid battery and you discharge it beyond a certain point, you are in fact creating a very effective yet expensive paperweight. So in a typical backup application, if you have a power failure that is sustained, then your application, your little JSM commander or whatever you are powering from that battery will actually draw power from that battery and it will drain the battery way, way, way down up to a point where you're actually destroying the battery. And the next time you've got a power failure, your battery will just not be there. So you're typically going to have to replace that battery and with your luck, that's probably going to be 500 or 1000 kilometers away from you. So that's where the battery protector comes in. The battery protector is this square little circuit board right here. It's very nice. It solders directly onto the battery. In this case, this is a 7 amp hour standard battery as you would find in most alarm systems. But you can use the same battery protector on a smaller battery like this one. This is a 1.2 amp hour battery. So by turning the circuit board, you can actually fit it onto either of these batteries. So what does it do? Obviously, the first thing it does is protects your battery against excessive discharge. So it will actually monitor the voltage of the battery and when it drops below a certain point, it will switch off the load on your behalf. And then when the battery gets, when the battery is charged back up, it will switch back on. But not only that, it also acts as an electronic fuse, an automatic electronic fuse. So if there is a short circuit or some other problem on your, on your um, site, you, and there's too much current getting drawn from the battery, it will actually switch off the load and this is key, it will actually automatically switch back on when the load recovers. How cool is that? That is cool. So looking at our battery protector in a bit more detail, the first thing you'll notice is this little switch right here. We use that to set the mode of the battery protector according to which kind of battery we've mounted it on. Now it's currently set to 1.2 amp hour but if we've mounted it on a 7 amp hour battery we would have the switch in the other direction. Uh, that's necessary because the, the two types of battery um, behave quite a bit differently under load conditions and the battery protector wants to know what kind of battery it's actually protecting today. The other thing you'll notice is a little LED there. That will basically tell you the current status of the battery protector. In this case, it actually says that the battery protector is in a normal mode, it's connected and the battery is still healthy. It could tell you here that the battery is low, it could tell you there that it's in a short circuit condition and it's got a little legend there on the board that tells you what it means. So that's very nice and you can always see what's happening immediately. Then looking at our terminals here, uh, the, our main terminal will be this one that says power out. This is where you can connect your load and if your load uh, is directly also charging the battery, it, it's fine, you can do it via this terminal here. If you want to connect a dedicated charger, you can use these terminals right there and it will actually charge the battery via this big resistor there for current limiting purposes. Uh, last but not least, we've got our battery low output. That is ground and that is a signal that pulls low when it goes active. And what this does is if the battery protector determines that the battery voltage is too low, before it actually switches off the load, it will make this output active. And that allows your application to actually prepare for the, for the coming loss of power. In the case of a GSM commander, you can connect that to a GSM commander input and the GSM commander can maybe send you a message telling you that it's going to be losing power within the next few minutes. In this case, three minutes before power off, this output will become active. So that's very, very handy to give you more information about what's going on at your site. So, if you're going to a site, and you're going to have a battery on that side, use a battery protector. To go without it is just plain stupid. Don't do that.